Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of a warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning in fuel of fire. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakodash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me the truth through the Spirit. Sing honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the censor men, women, and children that do consist of the one third, and to the confusion that faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. I will leave the link of both these articles in the description box so you can read for yourself. As you can see, U.S. and South Korea fire ballistic missiles after North Korea lunch. And you also have on the right side of the screen where it goes on to say, Russian nuclear forces run drills as Biden promises advanced missile systems to Ukraine. When you go to the book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 3, it says the Lord is a man of war, the Lord is his name. With Lord in all capital letters in the Old Testament is Yahweh. So Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. So all wars that have ever been fought here on earth, all of these wars um, have been orchestrated by the Most High, Yahweh. Okay? Before I proceed, allow me to bring out another precept really quick. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse Three And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, this is talking about Yahweh Shai and the disciples. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Now I'm going to jump down. Verse 6, And ye shall hear of wars, this is red letter, and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. Because a, a lot of people are were trouble when Russia first invaded Ukraine. The entire world was at alert like, oh snap, we have awakened the bear that was hibernating. The old USSR is back, so to say. Because Biden, not Biden, Putin's been talking about going nuclear. And North Korea has been testing missiles for we don't know how long, ever since, right? At the beginning of this year, so I think it was the month of January or February. They tested like three or four missiles in one month, right? And South Korea and North Korea, they have been, um, no, I'm sorry. North Korea tested some missiles and then South Korea and United States let off eight missiles to pretty much show their counter or to show their response to them testing missiles, Right? But let me continue Matthew 24. Forgive me, that was rude. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So as of right now, you can hear the the the, the drums of war are banging. And they're resonated throughout the earth. I mean, majority, the vast majority of people, they have no clue what the H-E double hockey stick is going on. They're so engulfed in themselves. Remember, it says in the last days, men shall be lover of themselves. Just look at social media. All these selfies. You're not only women doing it, but men as well. Getting lineups, you know, getting their faces exfoliated, which ain't nothing wrong with that, you know. But then you got dudes looking all pretty and everything for women. It's, 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 it's just ridiculous. It's sickening, man. You know, be masculine. Be rugged. All right? Men not no homo. Men are supposed to be cute. We're supposed to be handsome. What the hell? Monkeys, babies, and, and, and puppies are cute. What the hell? Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And the world is in a sorrowful state as of right now. Right? Because they're trying to have this whole... NWO, New World Order, where they want to really reset the world economy because America put it in such shambles. But the Lord um, set a bounty they cannot pass. All right, They won't be able to fulfill their enterprise. But going back to the, the precept I opened up with, Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Let me read that again and break it down. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. 
I know it's not redundant, but think of the movies 300. Think of the movie Troy. The movie Gladiator. Those movies is the first portion of this verse. Confused noise and garments rolled in blood because you're literally doing guerrilla warfare. You're doing hand-to-hand combat. At one time, it was with shield, buckler, a sword, bow and arrow, right? Or either your bare hands. Now, they have drones. They have tactical gear. They have assault weapons. They have pistols, right? So, advanced warfare is absolutely different compared to um, the warfare in ancient times or times of antiquity or before the gunpowder was created. Which, I, if I'm not mistaken, was first created in um, China. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nonetheless, though, continuing on with this verse, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. What's that burning and fuel of fire? Thermonuclear warheads. And it's inevitable, right? The Lord is setting the stage because the Bible is also referred to as what? The scriptures. And what do they have on the set of a movie? Scripts. We are all characters inside the Lord's, the Yahweh's beautiful movie, right? This is Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. I'm reading, out, I'm reading out of the Apocrypha, which is also a part of the 1611 King James Version Bible. Okay? Second Ezra 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bend up the bow. The bow will be the silos that those ICBMs will be coming out of. ICBM is an acronym for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Check this out. You got to remember, this is parabolic talk. There's no man on earth that can shoot a bow and arrow from Russia to New York. But what Ezra saw, who Ezra is also Ezra in the Old Testament, he saw a vision that was sent to him. And the only way he was able to describe it was based upon those things that he interacted with during those times. They didn't have missiles back then. They didn't have silos back then. So the silo to him would be a bow and the missile to him would be an arrow. And he saw the arrow, the missile being shot from one end of the earth to the other. That's what he saw. That was the vision he saw. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Remember that word plague. What does it mean by the plague shall be sent? Meaning that the ICBM, because it's intercontinental, meaning that it has to go from one continent to another. So it has to travel at a far distance. It goes into orbit and it connects, it links up with the satellite. The satellite gives it the GPS, the longitude and latitude coordinates of its destination. And then it starts its descension into wherever it's going to land. Because it's shot from one end of the world to another. That's why they're called ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay? Like you have something known as interstate, a road that connects states. Intercontinental means that these are missiles that can connect from one nation to another. Right? But the final destination will be the other continent, the other nation. Now, remember I said to think about the word plague, right? This is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the, the Lord, Yahweh, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Now, what's the first thing that comes to mind to the men of the Lord and like-minded people who know about the prophecies? It goes back to the scene in Second Terminator with Sarah Khan when she's at the, the park with the when she see the children playing. All you see is a bright flash and you see this 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 um hot burning wave of heat coming towards her. And as she's screaming, she's banging and, gr- and gripping on the fence. What happens? Her skin, her flesh disintegrates. All you see is her skeletal structure. That's this verse shown in that movie. And the Lord put the mind 
on the director. Was it Steven Spielberg? I forgive me. I don't know who it was. The director at that time to put that scene in there. Because that correlates with this right here. Once again, that play going by the second edges would be the, the continental, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Forgive me. Right? Now let's go back to second edges. Second Edges chapter 16, verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent, the missiles, and shall not return again till they come upon the earth. We just brought that down. The fire is kindled. Remember Isaiah 9 and 5? Is, but it shall be with fuel and burning fire. The fire is kindled, shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Wow. Till it consume Babylon, which is America. Because Russia, Iran, China, other countries, even some of their own allies are going to shoot missiles on America. Because remember, it says the beast shall hate the whore. The beast is the EU and NATO. Seven heads is EU, EU Nate, the um, ten horns is um, NATO. And the whore that rideth upon the beast is America, the mystery whore Babylon. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again, meaning the missiles. Woe is me, woe is me who will deliver me in that day. Exactly. If we know these thermonuclear warheads are coming, how the H-E double hockey stick, we're going to make it up out of here. The Lord said that we will, only the 144,000 and the one-third. Hearken. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off. That's 66.6%. Think about that number as well. Shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The one third in the hundred forty four thousand. Hearken to this. This is how we're gonna make it out. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Remember, remember, Paul said, In the twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed, in the instant, we shall be saved as well. And will refine them as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried. That shall call on my name, and I will hear them. Yeah, how about Shimei Aoshai? Hey, Bishop Nathaniel, since you said we're not going to know the name until we get to the kingdom, how the hell are we going to be able to be saved if we don't know the name? It just said that we shall call upon his name, and he's going to hear us. You need a lot of people astray. I would say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my God, or Yahweh Allah Beautiful. Beautiful. So yes, indeed, thermonuclear warfare is true, and it's in bi it's biblical. And the Lord said He's gonna bring us through it all, right? But nonetheless, though, with that being said, I pray was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quran, Allah, Muflababa, Shalom.